Okay. Uh, so welcome to all. Uh, in last session, we had started the discussion on thermodynamics and uh, we had completed few uh, terminologies in thermodynamics. In today's session, uh, we are uh, moving ahead uh, with the further discussion on thermodynamics. Uh, before going ahead, uh, this is the slide that we had uh, uh, stopped uh, in the last lecture. Uh, now we are going to discuss in detail what is mean by process. Before that, we had studied actually what is mean by state. That is nothing but the you can say point on. Um, it is a. It, it is a. You can say it is shown by a set of properties like pressure and volume. And uh, if you plot the graph between these properties, suppose for this example, here is a graph between pressure and volume. And if you if you locate one point here as a one. Now this point which we are locating on this graph is nothing but the state of that given system. Means what? It is shown by certain value of uh, pressure and certain value of volume. So both are measurable characteristic hence they are called as properties and this is this state is shown by a set of properties in this case it is a pressure and volume. So this is what we are discussing in the uh, last session. I mean, uh, before uh, you know, uh, giving uh, before going ahead in this lecture, let me give uh, some learning outcomes. Uh, what are the targets during this session uh, that we want to achieve? And these are nothing but these two targets that we are going to achieve in this lecture. That is, uh, we are going to explain. Uh, we are going to. Uh, you know, explain the phenomena of the first law of thermodynamics and we are going to apply uh, to the uh, different types of thermodynamic systems like open system, closed system that we had learned and also in the next session outcome uh, that is enlisted here that we are going to determine the rate of work and heat transfer that is nothing but the thermodynamics. Yesterday I had explained the meaning of uh, uh, thermodynamics by breaking it in two separate words that is thermo and dynamics. So thermodynamics is related to thermo means it is a heat dynamics which is a heat transfer and why we are doing this heat transfer to convert it into the useful form of energy that is nothing but the work. So that is nothing but the uh, main uh, crux of the thermodynamics. So uh, let's resume our discussion further. Uh, we, uh, so let me open the slide that we are discussing in the last lecture. Uh, so this is state, equilibrium and process. Now one more uh, term is here. Uh, before going to uh, process which are, I had started, whose discussion I had started in the last session. Uh, there is one more term that is uh, nothing but the equilibrium. Okay, so this term might be um, uh, remain uh, undiscussed. So I want to discuss this term. Uh, let me open that one. So state we had discussed. Now this is thermodynamic equilibrium that I would like to discuss here. Uh, what is mean by equilibrium? Equilibrium is nothing but you can say a balanced condition. It is a balanced condition, okay, or uh, some constant, some features in that conditions are remain constant. That is nothing but the equilibrium. So um, uh, you had might be learned the dynamic equilibrium. What is dynamic equilibrium? Uh, suppose uh, 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 take an example, okay. Uh, take take an example of this cylinder. Yes, cylinder, madhe samja. एक दहा लिटर पानी अपन टाकतो आहे आणि सायमल्टेनियसली खाली या खाली समजा इथे एक पाईप लावलाय आपण आणि याच्यामधून 10 लिटर पाणी आपण काढतोय तर मधलं पाणी तरी मधलं समजा जे काही भरलेला पोर्शन आहे तो तर कॉन्स्टंट आहे कारण की आपण 10 लिटर पाणी मध्ये टाकतोय 10 लिटर काढतोय बट देयर इज अ मोशन ऑफ दिस वॉटर पार्टिकल दो द मास इनसाइड दिस रिमेन्स सेम or the volume inside this remains same, but certain masses, certain mass in turn volume is adding to this volume and certain volume simultaneously, which is equal to the addition that is going to be out from this tank. So 
This is known as a dynamic equilibrium. This condition might be you had learned in the applied mechanics. Now, in this case, uh, what is mean by thermodynamic equilibrium? It is a combination of three equilibriums basically. First one is thermal equilibrium. Thermal equilibrium that is nothing but the same temperature. Okay, if two bodies have same temperature, then we will call uh, those bodies are in a thermal equilibrium. And this is the concept based on which zeroth law of thermodynamics is def defined. Then mechanical equilibrium is nothing but you can say same forces and movements are applied on the system or uh, uh, the amount of force applied on two bodies are same, then we will term that as a mechanical equilibrium. And what is mean by chemical equilibrium? So chemical equilibrium is nothing but we have seen the definition of pure substance. If the chemical composition remains same, then we will call that system as a, as in a, it is in chemical equilibrium. If all these three, thermal, mechanical, chemical, equilibriums are achieved, then we will call that system in a thermodynamic equilibrium. Okay, suppose for this example, if here mass, temperature and volume, that is 1.5 meter cube, and yeah, dusra tank madepan, suppose the mass, temperature and volume, if it is 1.5, both the volumes are same, temperatures are same, and suppose the pressure which is applied against this distance are same, then we will uh, definitely call that these two tanks uh, or cylinder, whatever it may be, maybe you can give to this spot, they are in a thermodynamic equilibrium. And also, there is no change in phase. Uh, water remains in the liquid form. Here also water remains in the liquid form. Then we will term that as a thermodynamic equilibrium. So this thermodynamic equilibrium uh, condition uh, it is very important when we are discussing reversible processes because reversible processes process is nothing but the change in state. Okay, पहले तो अपन state शिक्ला state में जो change आ रहा था मग तल अपन क्या मानना है process मानना है. Okay, and change is inevitable thing in the thermodynamics. One thing is constant in thermodynamics that is a change. So now at this Dynamic. dynamic is nothing but the change. So definitely we are going to study change in this thermodynamic. That is one thing you should keep in the mind. change system change of state is nothing but the process. So that is our next uh, portion basically. So uh, uh, let me open that slide again. So, this is nothing but the uh, uh, path function, point function that we had already studied and now this is the process. So, process as I discussed earlier, that is it is a change from one equilibrium state to the another equilibrium state. This equilibrium is steady state, it is not unsteady state. So, you can remember, you can remember that as a state, only state also. So, this is the state 1. Sometimes it has state 1, it is like this, 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 why we are using this piston cylinder arrangement, because this is the heart of any engine, okay, if you see, if you see your two bike engine, uh, or four wheeler engine or two wheeler engine or your bike that important component of any vehicle is the engine and that engine is nothing but the cylinder and piston arrangement so hence onward in all examples uh, definitely we are going to uh, learn in the perspective of this cylinder and piston arrangement which is nothing but the uh, symbolic representation of thermal engines or any engines okay which is the thermodynamical uh, we are going to see the thermodynamical significance of it so so this is the condition yala samza pressure daha bare volume shambar meter cube ahe itha jama apan samza apan heat supply karu kiwa ya piston var ekada force apply karu tewa याच प्रेशर वाढेल आणि वॉल्यूम जे आहे म्हणजे इथलं जे मधलं वॉल्यूम आहे ते वॉल्यूम कमी होईल समजा प्रेशर शंभर बार होईल 
आणि व्हॉल्युम जे अगोदर शंभर मीटर क्यूब होतं ते दहा मीटर क्यूब होईल सो दिस इज नथिंग बट द फायनल स्टेट नाव दिस चेंज ऑफ स्टेट फ्रॉम दिस स्टेट वन टू स्टेट टू इज नथिंग बट द प्रोसेस नाव अगेन नाव वी वी विल डिस्कस इन डिटेल दिस प्रोसेस इफ दर आर डिफरंट टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोसेस इन थर्मोडायनामिक्स डिपेंडिंग अपॉन विच प्रॉपर्टी रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टंट ओके बघा आपल्याला आता समजा या केसमध्ये प्रेशर आणि व्हॉल्युमचा आपण इफेक्ट चेक म्हणजे दोन गोष्टी इथं चेंज होतात त्याला आपण व्हेरिएबल्स म्हणू मॅथमॅटिक्समध्ये जनरली चेंज होणाऱ्या गोष्टीला आपण व्हेरिएबल्स असं म्हणतो सो लाईक एक्स अँड वाय हे पी अँड व्ही सो दिज आर द टू व्हेरिएबल्स अँड सपोज इन दिस केस इफ द टेम्परेचर रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टंट वी आर कीपिंग द टेम्परेचर पर्पजफुली कॉन्स्टंट सपोज and we are studying the effect of cause and effect of pressure and volume then this process is known as isothermal process so out of three important variable uh, sorry out of three important variables that is pressure volume temperature if we are keeping any one variable constant then that process uh, is known by that constant variable suppose if we are keeping pressure constant then that process is known as isobaric process uh, in that process we are studying the effect of change in volume and temperature likewise there is if the temperature is constant then we are terming that as isothermal volume is constant then isobaric and if entropy is constant then we are terming that as isentropic process so these are the different types of uh, the system depending upon which variable is constant now another parameter another criteria uh, through which we can classify this thermodynamic systems are like cyclic processes these are very important uh, uh, process because in the moving piston uh, suppose this is the piston if we are talking this cylinder piston arrangement ajab mate generally kya hote ki aple je engines astat te cyclic manner mate kaam kar ओके सो सब फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट विल स्टार्ट मूविंग इन दिस डायरेक्शन देन आफ्टर सम टाइम इट विल मूव फ्रॉम दिस स्टेट टू टू वन देन इट कम्प्लीट द वन सायकल सो दिस टाइप ऑफ प्रोसेस इज नोन एज अ सायक्लिंग प्रोसेस वी विल शो दिस प्रोसेस ऑन दिस पी वी ग्राफ दॅट इज प्रेशर वॉल्युम ग्राफ इन थर्मोडायनामिक्स we are studying all the relationship between the different variables on a certain graphs uh hit me itun pure lakshat theva we are going to learn different types of graphs that is pv graph hs graph uh, that is nothing but the molier chart so thermodynamics is learned by using some engineering tools which are nothing but the chart and which are designed by the different scientists like molier scientists we define the enthalpy entropy graph and these are uh, made or the data which is taken on that graph is the experimental uh, contribution by that scientist okay so we are uh, uh, going to learn this in more detail uh, in the in the further lectures now let's focus on this cyclic process first so suppose in this case uh, our process start with the initial condition 1 and it will go to the suppose this at this state or point that is 2 dash not written here you assume this as a 2 dash and after that uh, again we decrease the pressure a uh, volume and increase the pressure it will move back by this path, move back by this path to suppose this path is b uh, I, i will write here for to understand you uh, suppose uh, let's say this is path a and again let's say this is path b the path a ne upon 1 to 2 uh, dash la yanar i will write this as a, uh, you know point number 3 suppose instead of 2 dash uh, i will write or i can write this as a 2 uh, dash only Okay, I will write this as a two dash only. Okay, so it is a two dash. So uh, now we will discuss here. 
सो दिस इज पार्ट ए फ्रॉम पार्ट थ्रू दिस पार्ट या पार्ट ने का सिस्टीम स्टेट वन टू टू डैश आत बी ने का टू डैश पास अपन वॉल्यूम कमी कर प्रेसर वाढ़ अगेन वी विल बैक टू दिस स्टेट वन और और स्टेट टू बीच बोथ आर सेम पॉइंट ऑन दिस ग्राफ ऑन दिस ग्राफ हेन्स दिस प्रोसेस वेर द इनिशियल एंड फाइनल कंडीशन आर सेम मे बी बल पार्ट्स मल्टीपल पार्थ दैट हैज टू बी फॉलो और इफ इट इज गोइंग बाय द सेम पार्थ then then it is called as reversible process. If the paths are different, then they are might be irreversible process, but these are this this whole process is known as a cyclic process or a thermodynamic cycle. So our engines basically our IC engines uh, or take any example like compressor, all these important engineering devices are working on a cyclic process or they are they work on a thermodynamic cycle mainly that process is a cyclic process means what initial and final conditions are same now there are again uh, uh, there is a classification of process into reversible process and irreversible process so this is very important two terminologies that is reversible and irreversible now what is a reversible process suppose uh, in this graph only uh, uh, this uh, system our system is uh, changing its state from 1 to 2 dash through this path a a and suppose it is moved again to this point 1 to same path where the path and initial and final conditions Uh, are different and it works in a cyclic fashion then it is known as a reversible process means apan ek point karun 2 dash la lo ye ya path ne ani yaach margane vapas apan 2 dash karun 1 la gelo ya case madhe kay hona it is like we are undoing the work first at the start we had done some changes and then we are Uh, taking out that change that is nothing but the reversible process the best example to understand the reversible process is nothing but your spring suppose there is a spring you press it and after some time you release it now when it goes back or retain back through it, uh, because of its elastic property it will regain its original shape then that process is known as reversible process so elastic processes you can say are reversible process that is one of the example of reversible process what is irreversible process you can take the example of same curve now here path through path a it is coming to 2 dash from 1 to 2 dash and through path b it is going to back to the initial condition but the paths are different then this process is known as irreversible process when the path is same then this is reversible process when the path like here that path a and path b are different then it is a irreversible process now uh, uh, so this terminology we had already seen what is mean by isothermal process means thermal mis temperature remains same then we call that process as isothermal process isobaric process all these processes we are going to study in detail or rather i can say this is nothing but our second unit so this is the foundation for the second unit second unit madhe apan kay karnar hai ya process chi detail study karnar hai ya process madhe hona hai je kai changes hai te apan derived karnar hai tancha formula apan derive karnar hai so that is nothing but the different processes in thermodynamics now there is one more process that i would like to um, take your attention here that is adiabatic process now what is mean by adiabatic process when there is no heat addition and removal from the system the heat is not added or removed means what is the uh, you can say uh, heat content of that uh, system is remain same there is no any transfer of the heat there may be transfer of the work but there is not a transfer of the heat that work is not converted it, it, into heat heat the work he heat made convert nahi jala work he samjha vega form made convert jala vega energy form made convert jala 
तर त्या केस मध्ये आपण त्याला एडियाबेटिक प्रोसेस म्हणणार आहे सो दॅट इज ऑल्सो व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट प्रोसेस इफ यू टेक द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दिस टू आयडियाबेटिक अँड रिव्हर्सिबल देन दिस टर्म ऍज अ रिव्हर्सिबल आयडियाबेटिक प्रोसेस अँड अवर आयडियल इंजिन सायकल दॅट इज वेअर वी कॅन गेट द मॅक्झिमम इफिशियन्सी दॅट इज दॅट आर जनरली कन्सिस्ट ऑफ दिस रिव्हर्सिबल आयडियाबेटिक प्रोसेस अँड reversible isothermal process okay so that we are we are going to discuss in detail in a uh, further session so you, uh, at this time you should know what is mean by adiabatic when there is no change in heat that is heat is shown by uh, this uh, this q letter by this sign so this q is nothing but the sign of heat and dq is nothing but the change in heat if it is zero then we will term that as a adiabatic process now uh, uh, we will focus in detail uh, on the reversible process because that is more important that is a, a, we we have more interest in this because further uh, discussions uh, are depend on this uh, understanding of this process now what is mean by reversible process reversible process upon as defined as i defined kar sakta when there is a very small change uh, in the Uh, small change in the conditions like pressure and temperature uh, that will lead to the reversibility so to process to become reversible what is important the change should be very small and that is nothing but infinitesimally small change and what are the states that we are going to take on the graph very near to each other and those states are equilibrium or in equilibrium means there is uh, thermodynamic equilibrium means where chemical equilibrium is there there is no change in chemical formula temperatures are you can say there are little bit variation in temperature but the te- both the temperatures are same and other such uh, properties are very near to each other i am not saying exactly same but they are very tending to each other suppose means like uh, uh, for example suppose this is one our uh, block which is a system and it has capital t is nothing but the uh, is temperature mentioned in the kelvin degree we are generally mention temperature in two uh, scales one is a uh, degree celsius and another another one is degree kelvin but the uh, temperature that we are measuring our body temperature that we are measuring in thermometer generally it is in a fahrenheit सो आपण म्हणतो ताप शंभर डिग्री आहे किंवा एकशे पाच डिग्री आहे आजकाल तापीचं मेजरमेंट थर्मोमीटरच्या सहाय्याने सगळीकडे केलं जातं सो शंभर डिग्री म्हणजे ते शंभर डिग्री सेल्सिअस नसतं ते शंभर डिग्री फॅरेनाईट असतं सो शंभर डिग्री फॅरेनाईट इज ऑलमोस्ट इक्वल टू थर्टी फाय डिग्री सेल्सिअस ओके सो इट इज नियरली इक्वल टू थर्टी फाय डिग्री सेल्सिअस सो दॅट इज युअर होमवर्क you should you uh, you can find out the relationship between degree celsius temperature in degree celsius and how to convert that degree celsius temperature in degree fahrenheit uh, scale so that is your homework you google it you find out what is the relation between degree celsius and degree fahrenheit now we will focus on this reversible process so suppose ek system apan ithe bagto त्याचं टेम्परेचर कॅपिटल टी आहे दॅट इज नथिंग बट डिग्री केल्विन टेम्परेचर सराउंडिंग जो डार्क फेंड येलो आहे दॅट इज हुज टेम्परेचर इज शोन बाय टी टी मायनस डी टी ओके सो आय कॅन यूज द पेन हिअर फॉर दिस मॅटर सो दिस इज युअर टेम्परेचर सपोज टी इन टू मायनस डेल्टा टी सो दिस t into minus delta t uh, this indicates very small change suppose this is uh, you can say 40 degree celsius suppose this is a 40 degree celsius and this is very near to 40 degree celsius so this is might be a uh, you can say 39 okay this might be a 39 okay so very near to each other these temperatures are very near to each other then uh, we call this uh, we call these uh, temperatures uh, we call these temperatures that is uh, or we call these two systems surrounding is also system so 
these are uh, uh, sorry uh, these two temperatures are very close to each other uh, so these two uh, systems or these two uh, uh, let's say states of the system are equilibrium in equilibrium and and here uh, uh, so of course if this temperature is less then ha natural law to me tum pune lakshat theva ki high body temperature pursuing heat always flow to the low body temperature so this is very important natural law heat generally flows from high temperature to low temperature we are coming to uh, the that terminology of heat very we, we will discuss in detail so some heat will flow outside to this system uh, but that is also again very small heat and because of this heat what will happen temperature will again increase and we will come into this state where temperature is t plus delta t delta t is very small change now our temperature of the system is t and this temperature which is the temperature of the surrounding is t plus delta t now what will happen heat will flow in a reverse direction because surrounding temperature is not now increase and heat will flow in a uh, inside to the system now this process is known as a reversible process now here you can see this delta t is very small so here delta t you can say that 1 degree celsius that is a change but ashi condition ahe ki surrounding the temperature 80 degree celsius hai आणि आपल्या ह्या मधल्या सिस्टीमच टेम्परेचर चाळीस डिग्री सो हेअर यू हॅव व्हेरी बिग चेंज इन द प्रॉपर्टीज चेंज इन अर कॅन से रिस्पेक्टिव्ह स्टेट इथली जी स्टेट आहे त्या स्टेटच टेम्परेचर ऐंशी डिग्री सेल्सिअस आहे याची जी स्टेट आहे इथलं टेम्परेचर चाळीस डिग्री सेल्सिअस तर या केसमध्ये इट विल नॉट बी अ रिव्हर्सिबल प्रोसेस बिकॉज देर इज अ ह्यूज डिफरन्स इन इट्स टेम्परेचर सो huge amount of heat will flow from this surrounding into this uh, uh, i can show here from this uh, surrounding into this uh, into this system so this will not become a reversible process this will term as a irreversible process now we'll move ahead uh, again we had explained this reversible irreversibility by using the temperature as a property if you explain same case by using pressure uh, on this piston on this piston if you apply the small increase pressure and this piston will move when it moves whenever there is a displacement there will be work take place itu pura atyanta mahatvacha ha point hai displacement ekhada system madhe sorry work ekhada system madhe jhale ka nahi kutli machine hai किंवा कुठलेही इक्विपमेंट आहे त्याच्यामध्ये वर्क झालं हे आपल्याला कसं कळत वॉट इज अ इंडिकेटर ऑफ वर्क इंडिकेटर ऑफ वर्क इज अ डिस्प्लेसमेंट मे बी इट इज अ लिनियर डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑर इट इज अँगुलर डिस्प्लेसमेंट ओके शार्प रोटेट होतो आपल्या खाली कारचा मीन्स वॉट इट इज गिव्हिंग आउट वर्क दॅट इंजिन इज प्रोड्युसिंग द वर्क अँड दॅट इज सप्लाईड टू द टायर्स ऑर थ्रू वॉट थ्रू द रोटेशन थ्रू द डिस्प्लेसमेंट सो दॅट इज नथिंग बट द वर्क and so whenever there is a displacement please remember hence onward this is very uh, you can say uh, important point imp point of this session indicator of work done which is we are going to learn in the further slide that is nothing but the displacement so here if the pressure and uh, again remember uh, force uh, we generally apply or you can say the a uh, fluid will move in such a direction where the pressure is low from high pressure to low pressure likewise how the heat flows from uh, high temperature to low temperature uh, or you can take the example of uh, you can say the current how the current flow from high voltage to low voltage whenever there is a potential difference the current exists similar electric uh, analogy of electrical system we can use in a thermal system also if that change in pressure is very small and the, uh, then then this process can become reversible process but in general uh, 
in uh, in a you know in a mechanical systems all uh, we had learned in the applied mechanics also or we are going to study in strength of material also that uh, our systems are not perfectly elastic system means it is not perfect spring though jari apan spring press karun sodli vapas it will not regain its exact original position there is there remains some permanent state of plasticity so that we are going to learn in the strength of material but same analogy we can use in the reversible process also all practical process ja kai aplya apan day to day life madhe real life इंजिनिअरिंग प्रोसेस म्हणतो त्या सर्व इरिव्हर्सिबल आहेत मग आपण रिव्हर्सिबल का शिकतो कारण की रिव्हर्सिबल केस मध्ये जी काही इफिशियन्सी आपल्याला मिळते दॅट इज द हायेस्ट इफिशियन्सी अँड ऍज अ इंजिनियर आवर अप्रोच इज टू कॉपी द बेस्ट सो व्हॉट इज द बेस्ट इन दिस सिनारिओ इज द रिव्हर्सिबल प्रोसेस इफ आवर प्रोसेस इज रिव्हर्सिबल देन वी विल गेट द मॅक्सिमम अमाऊंट ऑफ वर्क डन or the efficiency through the system so that is the uh, discussion here i want to put out now these are some of the properties uh, which uh, which are very important which are the base for the next two important properties uh, that is nothing but the heat and work so before going to learn in detail what is mean by heat and heat supplied what is mean by work done work on the system we we first of all know the basic or the fundamental uh, constitute of that formula of work and heat now temperature this is the first quantity now uh, temperature uh, we can feel the temperature okay ekada garam chamcha apan hatat ghetla tar aplyala chatka basto that is nothing but the feeling of temperature so uh, what is the temperature it is a measure of heat so this is what i want to discuss that is the heat ji apan thermodynamics madhe apan jecha var apla discussion focused asel kiwa that is one of the important change that we are going to discuss or study so that intensity of heat is shown by temperature okay so it will show if the temperature of body is very high then definitely that body has a very हाय कंटेंट ऑफ अ हीट जर एखाद्या बॉडीचं टेम्परेचर जास्त असेल तर आपण असं म्हणू शकतो की त्याचा हीट कंटेंट जो आहे तो जास्त आहे कमी टेम्परेचर बॉडीपेक्षा अँड अगेन देर इज वन व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट नॅचरल लॉ ओके हीट ऑलवेज फ्रो फॉर्म हाय टेम्परेचर बॉडी टू द लो टेम्परेचर बॉडी ओके दिस इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट केस रिवर्स केस मध्ये पण हीट फ्लो होऊ शकते फ्रॉम लो हीट टू द लो हीट सॉरी फ्रॉम लो टेम्परेचर बॉडी टू हाय टेम्परेचर बॉडी बट दॅट रिक्वायर्स यु नो सम अदर एनर्जी अदर फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी दॅट इज नथिंग बट द वर्क टू बी इम्पॉर्टेड ओके ते असं होऊ शकणार नाही त्याला आपल्याला फोर्सफुली घडून आणावं लागेल पण नॅचरल जर फ्लो बघितला जसं पाणी हे उंचावरून खाली पडतं पण उलट जर पाठवायचं असेल म्हणजे समजा आपल्याला आपल्या गच्चीवरचा टँक फिल करायचा असेल तर आपल्याला काय युज करावं लागतं ऑटोमॅटिकली तर ते पाणी जाणार नाही त्याच्यासाठी आपल्याला पंप युज करतो पंप युज करावं लागतं आणि पंप काय करतो पंप विल इम्पार्ट इन्फ्यूज द वर्क अँड बिकॉज ऑफ दॅट वर्क बाय टेकिंग दॅट एनर्जी इट आवर वॉटर विल फ्लो फ्रॉम यू कॅन से द ग्राउंड फ्लोअर टू द फर्स्ट फ्लोअर similar condition is here you can take the same analogy uh, here also so heat naturally flows from instead of high height here you can take the high temperature and from high temperature to the low temperature so that is a natural flow similarly uh, fluids je kai apan water vagare manto pani je flow hota te kutun flow hota high pressure to low pressure so these are the some of the in, uh, you can say natural things you should know the natural concepts now uh, here i give purposefully given this example suppose there is a uh, body a which weight 100 kg and its temperature is 10 degrees celsius another body is there there's a weight 1 kg but there's a temperature 500 degrees celsius so mag mag uh, heat kashi flow hui 
the heat flow will ya b pasu a kade because b cha temperature 500 degree celsius hai a cha temperature 10 degree celsius here you can see this, this bigger block which is of 100 kg is a and this smaller block of 500 degree celsius is b so heat will flow from this point uh, b from this point uh, let me show you from this point b to a so this is how the heat will flow now uh, it doesn't depend upon mass so obviously it is a intensive property it is not extensive property extensive property depends upon the mass another important point that i would like to uh, uh, brought here i would like to brought to your notice is that temperature is also uh, uh, taken to measure the average kinetic energy of the molecules of the you can say this a body which we are seeing here this a body this a body is made up of uh, uh, atoms that we had learned in the uh, chemistry uh, or you can say the molecules and molecules are made up of atoms and atoms are made up of proton electron which are known as sub atomic particles so these molecules in suppose this uh, block is filled with the gas then they are free to move but in case of solid the force of attraction between the molecules is very strong as compared to gas in that case they are not freely movable they are not freely movable from each other but in case of gas they can easily move to each other okay now when they are moving means what they are in motion motion mari ali kitala velocity ali velocity ali kitala kinetic energy ali so that is very important mechanical energy remember these two terms of mechanical energy kinetic energy which is related to of course mass but more related to the velocity so whenever there is a motion of maybe atomic motion or maybe the whole body is moving like a rock is moving both has a kinetic energies and whenever we keep one body at a height at a certain height then it will have due to virtue of that uh, height it will have potential energy now this is very important point this temperature is also a measure of kinetic energy of the molecules so it is a, you can say every molecule of this gas has a its own Uh, value of kinetic energy it, it it has its own velocity ek molecule samjhai the to just apan asa manu ki to just the speed ne move hoto suppose this is one of the molecule uh, it is moving with the higher speed here is another molecule which is moving at a slow speed it is very can say fast it is moving at a fast rate here another molecule which is moving at a slow rate now there are number of molecules are there Uh, here you can have number of uh, such molecules okay number of such molecules are there now all these molecules are moving here and there they may be collide with each, with each other that maybe that collisions uh, are elastic that will transfer the momentum force uh, and because of that pressure might be created we are going to see the pressure or the pressure is created because of the collision of the molecules and that collision is nothing but the transfer of the momentum that is another quantity momentum is nothing but the mass into velocity so all these are the kinematic terms that might be you had learned the applied mechanics so uh, I, as i would like to brought your attention majority of terms that we are using here like force pressure work done all these terms you had already introduced to you in applied mechanics physics and chemistry so it is a you can say the thermodynamics is combination of all these three it is a combination of applied mechanics it is a combination of physics it is a combination of the chemistry so now we are seeing the microscopic level which is nothing but the chemistry okay so we are when we are talking of the atoms we will go at the microscopic level when we are talking as a system or a body then we are uh, going at a physics level or at a as a uh, we are not focusing microscopically the atoms in that body no we are seeing body as a mass now in that time we are uh, 
discussing in terms of applied mechanics or in terms of uh, physics so please remember this so now in this case i would like to draw your attention towards the very important quantity that we are going to uh, learn upcoming that is internal energy so this temperature is also this temperature is also indicator of internal energy or i can say internal energy of the body depends upon the temperature now another important point here uh, heat and work uh, we can see at the boundary level only okay so in at this boundary level only uh, you have these two quantities like heat and work so you can see uh, the transfer of energy in the form of uh, heat and work so i will show heat by symbol q and uh, work by symbol w q and w these two quantity will exhibit only at the boundary level okay ani ekda energy madi ali body made ki mag ti heat ya form made kiwa work ya form made store hot nahi okay so you can say q and w that is nothing but heat and work are transitional energies they are transitional energies means uh, ya form made energy flow hote this is the medium of energy flow and once the heat energy comes it will not remain in the form of heat inside this body it will remain in this form of internal energy and again the internal energy is means what it is a kinetic energy of it is sum of kinetic energy or you can say the average of kinetic energy at the molecular level so means what energy is stored in only two forms one is uh kinetic energy another one is potential energy now when we are discussing kinetic energy and uh, potential energy uh, for the body as a body as a whole then that term as a mechanical energy which might be a kinetic energy or uh, a potential energy which depends upon uh, mass of that body not a mass of the particle mass of the whole body and dusri term hai that is a internal energy which depends upon the velocity of the particles the mass is very negligible so what is important in case of particles that is the velocity of the particles so when we are discussing at the molecular level the kinetic energy then it is known as internal energy and when we discuss this kinetic energy of this whole body a then that is known as a mechanical form of energy and this is very important your energy is stored in the form of internal energy and kinetic energy okay so uh, these are uh, some of the important points that i want to brought here now this is the pressure uh, what is the pressure that is pressure is nothing but the force upon area now here you can see uh, the stimulation how the uh, particles are uh imparted on this wall now this collision of the particle will transfer the momentum on this wall and that is that momentum transfer per unit area and per unit time that is nothing but the pressure so pressure is equal to momentum transfer due to the you can say uh, uh you can say collision or normal force divided by area and divided by time is nothing but the pressure but momentum transfer per unit time that we have learned as per the second law second newton's law of motion that is nothing but the force so this pressure is nothing but the force upon area so this is again very important uh, property of the system generally pressure is related with the momentum and temperature is related to the kinetic energy and मुमेंटम जिथे जिथे ये तिथे फोर्स ये फोर्स जिथे जिथे ये तिथे वर्क डन ये सो अगेन दिस इज प्रेसर इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टंट कंस्टिट्यूंट ऑफ द वर्क डन सो एक्चुअली वी वॉन्ट टू लर्न दीज टू क्वांटिटीज नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन दीज टू क्वांटिटीज दैट इज हीट एंड वर्क दीज आर वेरी इम्पॉर्टंट टू टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रांजिशनल एनर्जीज एक्चुअली 
uh, I had explained what is mean by transitional energy means these are the form of energy which are occurring or which are present at the boundary of the system. System cha boundary la energy is a j kai you can say uh, energy j kai madhi ete j kai bahir zate ti kutla form madhi ete ter heat ya form madhi ete apan manu ki that is nothing but the एक प्रकार से वाहक है एनर्जी से वाहक का है तर हीट एंड वर्क एनर्जी ट्रांसफर दैट इज नथिंग बट द व्हीकल ऑफ द एनर्जी ट्रांसफर सो हाउ द व्हीकल हाउ द एनर्जी इज ट्रांसफर थ्रू द फॉर्म ऑफ इन द फॉर्म ऑफ हीट एंड वर्क सो वर्क हाउ यू डिफाइन द वर्क मे बी यू हैव डिफाइन इन द अप्लाइड मैकेनिक्स ऑफ फिजिक्स सो वर्क द बेसिक फार्मूला ऑफ वर्क इज फोर्स इनटू डिस्प्लेसमेंट नाउ दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट term here is a displacement uh, i can show here this is a displacement so this is very important term as i discussed earlier ekadya system madhe work hote ka nahi he aplyala kasa karna what is the indicator indicate ka kasha na karna ki ya system madhe work hoyla kiwa ekadya machine madhe work hoyla tar that we will understand because of this displacement so this is very important term uh, displacement and because of which we are able to identify whether our system is uh, whether the change in our system uh, uh, is going to uh, undergo any work or not and what is the unit of work unit of work uh, work is a form of energy so uh, एनर्जी का जो यूनिट है वो वर्क का यूनिट है सो एनर्जी द यूनिट ऑफ एनर्जी इज जू एंड दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट आवर वर्क इन थर्मोडाइनमिक्स वी डोंट यूज दिस फॉर्मूला फोर्स इज टू डिस्प्लेसमेंट इंस्टेड ऑफ फोर्स वी आर यूजिंग प्रेशर इन टू एक्सेलरेशन नाउ दिस इज अगेन इंपॉर्टेंट इंस्टेड ऑफ फोर्स वी आर यूजिंग प्रेशर वी आर यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला ऑफ फोर्स दैट इज नथिंग बट प्रेशर uh into acceleration so this formula we are using an acceleration into displacement is uh, nothing but you can say these two terms if you take the product of these two terms these two terms are nothing but the change in volume these two terms are nothing but the change in volume so uh this is how this formula come p into dv is nothing but uh, uh you can say uh, pressure into area into displacement and area into displacement these two terms will give the delta v that is the volume now here i had mentioned the heat is very tricky term in the thermodynamics so uh, generally heat uh uh is energy if if i make this statement ki majya uh, body made uh, 100 joule every heat hai. wrong this is the wrong statement energy cannot be stored in the form of heat in any body or a system it must be stored in the form of internal energy it may be stored in the form of mechanical energy like potential energy kinetic energy but it is not stored in the form of heat no sorry it doesn't store in the form of heat but it can be transferred in the form of heat so you remember this you know boundary this boundaries between the transitional energy and stored form of energy internal energy kinetic energy mechanical energy are the stored form of energy heat and work are the you can say are pure vehicles of energy okay these are the you can say these are the bikes of or these are the cars of energy energy kasha madun jate kutlya car madun jate tar ti heat ani work ya car madun ti jate okay so heat is a transfer uh, transferable or form of energy and it is transfer because of the temperature difference if it is exist then heat is uh, going to be transferred there kab tak transfer hogi jab tak two bodies will have the same temperature जो पर्यत दोन बॉडीचे टेम्परेचर सेम होत नाही तो पर्यंत हीट फ्लो कंटिन्युअसली चालू राहतो ना अनदर इम्पॉर्टंट टर्म वर्क वी हॅड ऑलरेडी डिस्कस व्हॉट इज मीन बाय वर्क इट इज नथिंग बट द फोर्स एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट देन देर आर अगेन वन फॉर्म ऑफ वर्क इज देयर दैट इज अ फ्लो वर्क एंड रिवर्सिबल वर्क फ्लो वर्क वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हेन वी आर अप्लाइंग द फर्स्ट लॉ टू द ओपन सिस्टम 
and uh, reversible work uh, is already we had discussed uh, with respect to this piston cylinder system when the work is done in the reversible process means very when the changes in the pressure are very small because here we are changing the pressure and because of the change in pressure there is a displacement of uh, you can say the piston and because of the displacement which is an indicator of uh, work done or the volume change displacement mode volume change hota and volume change zala mode burden hota so uh, when the work is done in the reversible process then it is term as a reversible work done now another important point here is the negative sign when work is done on the system lecha gaya when the work is done or work is added to the system then that work is a positive work uh sorry when the work is uh, uh sorry when the work is done on the system then it is a positive work and when the work is done by the system on the surrounding system work karte mujhe kon aur the work karat asti to ya case madhe jeva system so work sota karte mujhe kay hote ki there's a volume vaadta volume vaadta uh ani pressure kami hota then in that case that work done is termed as a negative work and the when work is done on the system by the surrounding then that work is a positive work and again uh, if you discuss this in terms of heat now when the uh, uh, when the heat is uh, supplied to the body i will go back to this uh, slide when the heat is supplied to the body suppose heat is flowing from this body b to a when the heat is added to the body then that work uh, sorry heat is positive work, heat that sign of heat is positive q is shown as a positive heat and when heat is taken out from body then that uh, you can say as a negative heat or negative q so uh, these are work and heat is exactly opposite to each other jeva system work work hota pump from the system work work karto तेव्हा आपण निगेटिव्ह दाखवतो जेव्हा आपण हिट ऍड करतो सिस्टीम मध्ये तेव्हा आपण पॉझिटिव्ह दाखवतो जेव्हा वर्क डन आपण सिस्टीम मधून काढतो तेव्हा आपण त्याला तेव्हा आपण त्याला पॉझिटिव्ह करतो आणि जेव्हा हिट आपण सिस्टीम मधून काढतो तेव्हा हिट काढल्यामुळे काय होतं आपल्या बॉडीचं किंवा सिस्टीमचं टेम्परेचर कमी होतं म्हणून त्याला आपण निगेटिव्ह साईन देतो ओके सो दिज आर व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट टू क्वांटिटीज वर्क अँड हिट and uh, we had learned in this uh, in this uh, in this uh, lecture now uh, we will take uh, some uh, uh, q and a that is question and answer multiple choice question to summarize our discussion now uh, uh, the first question that uh, i am going to uh, here ask to you that is which of the following is true for a steady state steady flow of the system uh, option a mass entering is equal to mass leaving b is mass does not enter or leave the system c is mass entering can be more or less uh, than the mass leaving and d is none of these when we called as a steady means rate is same what is the rate uh, rate of incoming and outgoing is same then we will call that that is a steady so option here correct answer will be a that is mass entering is equal to mass leaving another question uh, that we will take is which of the following is a path function that kunchi khalchi property hai ji path would depend as the pressure does not depend upon path for a single point we can define the pressure for a single point on a any uh, on a you know pv or a ts diagram we can define the temperature entropy can also be defined on the graph but work cannot be defined by a point पॉइंट ने अपन वर्क दाखू शक नहीं वर्क इज नथिंग बट द एरिया अंडर द प्रेशर वॉल्यूम कर पी इंटू वी इज नथिंग बट द एरिया पी इंटू वी इज नथिंग बट वॉट एरिया ओके सो दैट एरिया कैन नॉट बी शोन बाय द पॉइंट एरिया हैज टू बी शोन बाय सम रीजन एंड हेन्स वी रिक्वायर्ड प्रोसेस एंड द एरिया अंडर दैट प्रोसेस इज नथिंग बट द वर्क हेन्स इट इज शोन बाय द पार्क path is nothing but the process you can say so work is a correct answer and last one is reverse cannot cycle 
consist of which two very uh, which two processes i had discussed this reversible cycle is consist of two isothermal process and two reversible adiabatic processes and in the upcoming lecture we are going to discuss in detail what is been by reverse cannot cycle so uh, okay so we will stop at this point